Kira Christina Knightley, born on March 26, 1985 in London, England, is one of the most versatile and respected actresses of her generation. Raised in a creative household, her father was an actor and her mother was a playwright, Knightley developed a passion for acting at a young age. Despite struggling with dyslexia during her childhood, she was determined to pursue her dreams, showcasing incredible resilience. Knightley's breakthrough came with her role in Bend It Like Beckham, 2002, which earned her global recognition. Soon after, she became a household name as Elizabeth Swan in Disney's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Her ability to effortlessly transition between period dramas like Pride and Prejudice 2005 and modern roles in films like Begin Again 2013 solidified her place as a Hollywood powerhouse. In addition to acting, Knightley is a vocal advocate for women's rights and mental health awareness, using her platform to promote change and inspire millions. Top 20 interesting facts about Kira Knightley. One dyslexia fighter, overcame dyslexia with sheer determination and a love for reading scripts. Two, young prodigy, started acting at the age of six. Three, family influence, comes from a family deeply rooted in the arts. Four, pirate's fame, became a global star as Elizabeth Swan in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. For five, Pride and Prejudice acclaim earned an Oscar nomination at 20 for her role as Elizabeth Bennet. Six, musical talent, learned to play guitar for Begin Again. Seven, hidden cameo, played Sabe Padme Amidala's double in Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Eight, action star, performed many of her stunts in Pirates of the Caribbean. Nine, historical drama expert, known for her roles in films like Anna Karenina and The Duchess. 10. Body image advocate, spoke openly against unrealistic body expectations in Hollywood. 11. Fashion icon, frequently collaborates with Chanel as a brand ambassador. 12. Privacy protector, prefers to personal life out of the spotlight. 13. Humanitarian work, supports causes like Amnesty International and WaterAid. 14 award-winning career, won the Empire Hero Award for her contributions to film. 15 role model mother, balances her career while raising her two daughters. 16 self-critical artist, admits she struggles to watch her own performances. 17 period piece perfectionist, known for her meticulous preparation for historical roles. 18 voice work, voiced characters in animated projects like The Nutcracker and The Four Realms. 19. Theatrical Ventures, performed on stage in London's West End. 20. Mental Health Advocate, speaks openly about overcoming anxiety and burnout. Top movies and awards? 1. Movies, Bend It Like Beckham, 2002, Pirates of the Caribbean series, 2003 to 2017, Prime, Pride and Prejudice, 2005, Atonement, 2007, The Imitation Game, 2014, Begin Again, 2013, Anna Karenina, 2012. Colette, 2018. Two. Awards nominated for two Academy Awards, Pride and Prejudice and The Imitation Game. Nominated for multiple Golden Globes and BAFTA Awards. Empire Award for Best Actress, Atonement. Olivier Award nomination for her stage work in The Misanthrope. Top five lessons to learn from Kira Knightley. One. Turn challenges into strengths. Overcome obstacles like dyslexia with perseverance. 2. Versatility leads to growth. Take on a wide range of roles to expand your horizons. 3. Balance fame with privacy. Stay grounded by keeping personal boundaries. 4. Advocate for change. Use your platform to promote equality and mental health awareness. 5. Self-awareness is key. Acknowledge your limits and seek help when needed. <laughs> Excited someone. Kira Knightley's journey from a dyslexic child with a dream to an internationally acclaimed actress is a testament to the power of resilience and talent. Known for her iconic roles in both blockbusters and critically acclaimed dramas, she has continually pushed boundaries, inspiring audiences with her performances and advocacy. Question to the audience. Which of Kira Knightley's performances inspired you the most and how has it impacted your outlook on life?